Are you guys ready for the best Friday ever, Bishop Gorman? Because BGTV is coming at you in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bishop Gorman, I'm on your guru, and I'm Noam Malouf, and, and this, this is your BGTV. Today is Friday, October 9th, and it's World Post Day. It's been a great week here at Gorman, and the weekend's almost here. The PSAT is on October 14th for sophomores and juniors. Be sure to get some extra studying in this week. Speaking of preparing for college, Ashley Cuckler is going to show us all how to get into Harvard. Ashley? Hey Gorman seniors, as you know, college application season is rapidly approaching. So today I am taking it upon myself to show you guys how to get in to Harvard, the best school in the country. Make sure you're good at other sports. Score. In reality, getting into college is very serious. Joey Yeager talked to Coach Pye about what we need to know. Getting into the dream college of your choice is a difficult process that requires effort, patience, and skill. To get further insight on this application process, I sat down with Coach Pye to see what he had to say. Well, the first thing the students should do is they should research the colleges that they're interested in, find colleges that are a good fit, for them both academically and um, other factors including where it is uh, demographically, is it close to home, do they have the things that they offer, and then uh, especially do they have their major. And once the students kind of pinpointed seven to ten schools, at that point they can maybe start applying to those schools. This year, many schools allow you to apply without taking the SAT or ACT, but if you score high on these standardized tests, Coach Pye recommends you still submit your scores. With tests being optional this year, the other factors in an application are going to be even more important, and those would include the personal essay, your strength of schedule, and any extracurricular activities that you may have been able to participate in pre-COVID and creative ways you might have been able to interact or get involved in things in the times of COVID. If you have any questions, you can make an appointment with Coach Pye or any of the counselors through Google Classroom on Google Schedule where you can schedule an appointment. I'm Joey Yeager, reporting for BG TV. Thanks, Joey. Seniors, remember, the sooner you apply, the better, as the scholarship money will go quickly and you will get your results earlier. Additionally, the virtual college fair will take place this Sunday, October 11th, where you can interact with 139 colleges. All classes are welcome. Hey, Noelle, did you join any clubs? I sure did, and I'm having so much fun. Speaking of clubs, Marcus Solari and Taya Thompson spoke to the leaders of Gorman's newest clubs. Let's take a look. What is the Black Student Union? Uh, basically, it is a club um, to promote fellowship through the study of African American history, to understand and celebrate black culture, history, um, and our lifestyle. <laughs> 
esports is a new phenomenon, at least new to me. Um, I've been playing video games my whole life, but not competitively. And there's a new thing in video games where they actually compete against other groups of video game players. Uh, there's a need for it. I think there's a, a need for people to understand um, black history, African American history, and culture. Um, and I think, you know, just to get a better understanding, particularly now in today's culture, a place for students to come to to talk, uh, to encourage one another, to understand uh, one another and what they, what they experience. And uh, I think it'll be just a good experience for everybody that gets involved. Even if you don't want to compete, if you're interested in it, join the club, just to be around other like-minded people. You might not even have a console. You might not have a computer. You just think video games are cool. Well, one, it's, a, it's going to be an academic and an educational experience, so you're actually going to learn um, about the African-American experience. We're going to be doing community service, so we're going to be out there helping people out in the community service. Also create understanding, foster some relationships and collaborations um, with other uh, diverse, diverse groups. So that's why I think they should join, and I think you'll have a whole lot of fun, too. Thank you, Marcus and Taya. Our freshmen this year are outstanding. Let's go talk to some teachers about who they chose for freshman of the month. Jay? Hey, Gorman, I'm Jay Rothman, and I'm gonna be introducing you to the freshman of the month this year. The names have been announced yet, so let's go find out who they are right now. I nominated Anai. She is a shining light, a brilliant young lady, and uh, just simply amazing. The other one that I nominated was Julie Merlin, and Julie is, has a great attitude, always prepared for class, and participates all the time. Uh, three words I would use to describe Sam would be energetic, he's outgoing, and he's online, which uh, really adds to the dynamic of my class, so I thank him. Um, Isabel Rukavina is very kind and courteous. Um, she's a wonderful writer and is wonderfully insightful. The student is Omar Omar, and he is diligent, devoted, and enthusiastic. Okay, it's Marissa Luce, and uh, she has a positive attitude, uh, willingness to help, and she's doing well academically. So I nominated Hildana Hailu um, as the freshman of the month. Hildana is kind, generous, and inquisitive. James Oliver is intelligent, engaged, and friendly. Thanks for watching, Gorman. This has been Jay Rothman reporting for BGTV. Wow, Jay, thanks for the info. Congratulations to the winners of the freshman election, Athena Hovanesian, Cooper Cunningham, and Crystal Okuosa. I can't wait to see what the freshmen have to offer. Our students here at Gorman are so talented. Malia Rubio and Noel Malouf sat down with senior Chris Sullivan and talked about his experience in the Gale Theater Guild. Let's take a look. Oh, uh, well, when I came to Gorman, my mom told me I needed to join a club, so I just ended up joining theater. So I started my sophomore year when I transferred into Gorman. Uh, I was in the, I took the acting class for my uh, art elective. I had to eat something to do, and my, uh, uh, my buddy was like, they got this one I play, they're doing auditions for it, why don't you come do it with me? And I tried out, and I had a good time, so I stayed with it. My favorite's probably, um, Romeo and Juliet, that was Ben Volio. That was just like a fun production. We did a lot of like stage combat. It's a good time. It was a bummer because it was our week before the show was supposed to happen, we went into quarantine. So we worked for like three months to get the show together. And then uh, they said they got moved to May, and then May got moved to July, and then it ended up, we just couldn't do it at all. Where's the action? Where's the game? It's the oldest established permanent floating crap game in New York. Thanks, Chris. As many of you know, sports are up and going again. Let's pass over the ball to Devin Hume. Devin? What's up, BG? Las Vegas Aces were unfortunately swept 3-0 to in the WNBA Finals against the Seattle Storm. Best of luck to WNBA MVP Asia Wilson and her team next season. 
In the NBA, the Heat and the Lakers are competing in the finals. This is LeBron James' 10th finals appearance, and he is going for his fourth ring against his former team, who he won two championships with. The Lakers are currently up 3-1 to one in the series and are looking to close it out and win their 17th championship in franchise history tonight at 6 p.m. The Las Vegas Raiders are coming off a 30-23 loss against the Bills at home. Quarterback Derek Carr threw for 311 yards and two touchdowns, but that wasn't enough to outlast the Bills. The Raiders have a tough matchup on the road against the defending champions of Kansas City at 10 a.m. on Sunday. Best of luck to them. The Shriners Open began yesterday at TPC Summerlin. Unfortunately, fans will not be able to attend this year, but we are still in for a great weekend of golf with big names like Ricky Fowler, Jason Day, and Bryson DeChambeau leading the way. That's all I've got for today, Gorman. Everyone have a great weekend and cheer on your Las Vegas teams. Seven. In times like this, it is important to check up on our loved ones. Make sure you are the kindest version of yourself to the people you love and even strangers. It can make a big difference. Speaking of kindness, make sure you get your service hours in. For more information, talk to the campus ministry team or visit the X2O website. Next week is Spirit Week here at Gorman. Make sure to check out ASG's Instagram for more information. That's all we have for you today, Bishop Gorman. I'm Anya Gurura. And I'm Noel Malouf. And, and this, this is BGTV. BGTV.